Spring is finally rolling into summer here in the Bay Area after a long rainy winter. When the sun reappears, I always feel drawn to be outside more. I drive past the golf course and a quick nine holes is calling my name. Or a friend wants to meet up and we opt for a hike since the trails are dry and the sun feels so inviting. Some of my closest friends are also getting into the pickleball craze here in the US. There's no shortage of invites to go play pickleball or some other movement game. I'm sure many of you are tempted by similar things, but you might worry about how much time you actually have in a day. More outdoor movement means you might have to sacrifice some time in the gym. What if you don't hit your full schedule of workouts? Will your progress stall? Will you gain back weight that you lost? from being in the gym so consistently? I'll speak from experience first. I've never gone into a warmer season with more options for movement and seen my body look worse. Even when I lower my training frequency in the summer due to travel, I may only hit three to four sessions in the gym per week that are shorter than usual. And still, I end up leaning out from the overall uptick in movement. How can this be? People tend to overestimate the impact of training and underestimate what happens outside the gym. Three to four times lifting per week is more than adequate for maintaining muscle mass and even growth for many of you. A quality nutrition foundation with adequate protein and mindfulness around calories also goes very far. Warmer weather and longer days of sunlight mean more overall movement and activity for most people. This means more calories get burned overall despite hitting fewer lifting sessions. Remember that you burn only a fraction of your total calories in the gym each day. You burn the majority through your metabolism and non-exercise movement. More time outdoors and longer sunlight hours during the day can align circadian rhythms even better for people. This leads to better sleep. Better rest equals fewer cravings and overindulgences. Less time inside the house around the kitchen means fewer chances to snack and eat out of habit. You will probably end up consuming less overall calories during these months, even if you attend more barbecue and drinking events. I hope this illustrates how you can embrace the spring and summer without worry of halting your progress. You can't stop training altogether, and you can't just wing it with your diet. But even if you are at a less strict and dialed approach, you can still see progress. You can maintain the body you want and have a great time while doing it. Keep in mind that outdoor activity can really add up. One hour of pickleball has a greater impact on your overall calorie burn than 15 minutes of conditioning in your workout. A 30 minute hike likely burns more than your hit session that you did in the gym. Walking nine to 18 holes of golf will get you really close to your 10 to 12,000 step goal for the day. Maybe training a little less scares you a bit. Well, here's how you can hit satisfying lifting sessions and trust they'll do the job. I call it the two by two method. Intensity and effort matter even more when you train less frequently. When volume is lower, we need to hit intensity correctly. The two by two method keeps you focused on what you need to get done each day. Choose two exercises every day at the gym to prioritize. Your final two sets in those two exercises, I need you to attempt to hit eight or nine out of 10 on the RPE scale. That means that at the end of the set, you have only one, maybe two reps left in reserve before you call the set quits. For the rest of your training session, just get in quality reps with decent effort, but don't worry about approaching failure. Approaching failure requires more warm up sets and longer rest periods, all of which add up to more time in the gym that you'd rather be spending outdoors. Use this method any time of year when you wanna prioritize other things, but still get quality work done in the gym. Remember, one perk of staying fit is you're better able to enjoy what life has to offer. So don't be afraid to shake things up a little bit if you feel called to travel or try new things. The more you understand the fundamentals of what keeps you healthy and strong, the more you can adapt to make them work for you. And if functional bodybuilding has enabled you to do more with your fitness, shoot me a DM at Marcus Philly. I'd love to hear your stories.